Night Circus. Oh, great. More clowns. Without so much as a glance at the circus, the girl rushed off towards the little house. The little house all aglow. There it was at last. Of course. The unknown did not notice the two of them. He was too busy trying to smash the door down. Down the door. But it could not get into the house. The girl guided the unbelieving boy. Betrayed me. I cannot run fast enough. We all know this. The girl drew the creature's attention from beyond the bars. And the unknown began to chase her. Into the circus they went. They disappeared inside the tent. That rhymed. I'm very unhappy about it. Oh no. Welcome to Thunder Circus. The girl ran as fast as her legs would carry her. All the while the unknown followed closely behind. She is a trapeze artist. Like I said, Thunder Tent. Okay. Desperately, the boy searched for a way to reach the girl. What did I... what happened? Just, uh, just keep pissing it off, that works. This does not seem like a good idea. The girl was waiting for him at the bottom of the ladder. Ah, I see. It's... it's angry.
A large cage hung over the circus ring. This is our chance. If only they could lower the cage. They might be able to trap the unknown. Cheese it. One. Is that the only one? And now we can run past. You're right there. Why are you waiting for me? Pull it. Two of them headed for the final lever. But there's a clown there, so something's going to happen. And no one moved away from the, from beneath the cage. bravely to draw the unknown's attention. Why, why? To what end? He had to get down there and retrieve the doll. Do I have to go the long way? Are you kidding me? Great. so I get its attention that way. And... I don't know. I was hoping I could just sneak past, but it doesn't seem to be interesting. something to draw the unknown. the two of them had trapped the unknown. It threw a hissy. Steps. Can we? Can we? 
Make a break for the house now. Oh, I'm... I keep thinking I'm her. Not a sound came from within the little lit up house. Nobody answered her call. Looking as if she might burst into tears at any moment, the girl continued to knock. She stood still on the balcony. Before them was a little room. Oh, and there, lying on the bed, was the girl herself. Astral projection. Impressive. She seemed to be suffering as she long. Her body shook gently. And as it did so, the invisible girl came gradually back into view. She noticed that she was becoming visible again. And just as her form was about to be fully restored, she stopped trying to wake herself. She turned and stared searchingly at the boy. darkness flooded into the one place left in that world. The boy tried his hardest to open, but the door would not budge. creature had destroyed the house, and the light that had shown there was no more. That was her on the bed, with a bouquet of flowers. It seemed to me like get well flowers, I hope. I hope we're not dying. That would be pretty unfortunate. Neither the girl's voice nor the, nor the unknowns could be heard. The boy was alone once more. It was still the little girl's home. But the long, or but the lone light that had shone there had gone out. And there was booze everywhere. 
She was an alcoholic. Her parents were very concerned with memories of her sobriety and the night closed in. The boy returned to the town in the night. A blackness darker than even the night swallowed on before.